Greetings, fans. You guys, it's my Saturday night cooking show. Let's get fucked up in this bitch. Um, I didn't do a cooking show last weekend because I was moving. Okay, hopefully you guys can understand, but I am back and better than ever, bitch. Uh. I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. I just want to eat. Okay, let me show y'all what I'm going to make. I just posted my Trader Joe's haul on my TikTok. So if you want, this is so humbling to like film without the beauty filter. Do not look at my pimples. She's a pimple queen. Um, what was I saying? I posted the Trader Joe's haul on my TikTok, so you can go look at that to see the full, the full in-depth Trader Joe's haul, but for right now, we only got time for the cooking show, bitch, because I'm very hungry. <laughs> We're making, okay, I just made this shit up, as usual. I just make some fucking shit up all the time to cook, okay? So I just made this up, okay? <laughs> so I got this. First of all, you're nothing but a trashy help. Um, first of all, I wanted to use rigatoni with, I can't stop looking at the pimple on my face. I wanted to use rigatoni. Trader Joe's did not have rigatoni. Very disgusted by that. So I got this brown rice and quinoa fusilli pasta, which like, it's fine. Like I, I, I like fusilli, but like, I really love rigatoni, but whatever. I'm very humble and I will make it work. I will make it work. Now I was considering using kale in this recipe. But then I saw this arugula and it, I just could not take my eye off of it. I was like, damn, like maybe arugula is more the vibe for this dish. But it's like, do I want to use the arugula? Like, I don't know if I want to put it in the pasta, like cook down or if I want to put it in there raw. You know what I mean? Like a nice raw arugula, like with the texture. I love the leaf shape of the arugula. You know what I mean? Like I was going <coughs> to... I was gonna use kale, but like I could not find the kale for some reason at Trader Joe's and like people were in my way and like Trader Joe's honestly stresses me out. Like you, they need to give complimentary Xanax before you go into the Trader Joe because it's so fucking stressful. That never happens at Whole Foods. Then you guys, have I done a, have I done a recipe that I haven't used mushrooms in? I mean, seriously, like I'm just mushroom obsessed. Like I got these sliced baby Bella mushrooms um, cause we're doing a mushroom. Did I even say what we're fucking making? Damn it. We're doing a, um, I don't even know what it's called, actually. We're doing a mushroom arugula slash kale. You could use kale, too, or spinach. But, like, mm, like if you use spinach, like, mm. um, mushroom arugula pasta with a parmigiano reggiano and lemon and olive oil sauce and some butter, some, some dairy-free butter. That, that's, like, the most embarrassing shit ever. I'm using this fucking bucket of cheese. Oh, dairy-free butter. Bucket of cheese, dairy-free butter. Like, pick one, bitch. You know what I mean? It's like, pick one. Like, anyways, that's so humiliating. Um, but that's the sauce. And I just made up that sauce. Like, obviously, you would want to use, like, a probably... Ideally, in an ideal world, right? We're not living in an ideal world, though. In an ideal world, you would want to use, like, a creamy garlic Parmesan sauce, right? Bitch. A bitch, it's 2022. Or... It's 2023. None of our fucking stomachs can digest that shit anymore. At least mine can't. If I put a creamy garlic sauce up in here, done, done. Down for the count. Calling off work Monday. Fucked up. Can't do my workout. All my Pilates classes this week, done. Not worth it. So I can't do a girl. I can't do it. I can't do the creamy garlic sauce. So I, I made this shit up. Lemon, Parmesan, olive oil, butter. I don't know what the fuck that is. I don't know. But that's what I'm making. So we're making a pasta, essentially. We're making a pasta, people. So it's going to be real simple. I'm going to get this fucking pasta boiling on the stove. And then we'll go from there. We're going to sizzle up the mushrooms as well. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Like, why is that like the cutest thing ever? Hey, okay. Let's pour this pasta in. Oh my God. I like haven't, I've been like eating rations all day. Like, you know what I fucking ate today? I ate like five pieces of, of sliced chicken. I was just eating peanut butter. This is embarrassing. This, this is, what's it called? Caveman? What's like a caveman called? This is barbaric of me, okay? Eating a peanut butter. I've never done this before in my life. I was eating peanut butter straight out of the jar with a spoon. Who the fuck does? I'm disgusted. I'm disgusted. And then I had my weekend oatmeal, obviously, like that, sh that shit slapped. And then I also had the other half of my bag of chips and I also had the other half of my bag of popcorn. So like I just had a busy week, you know, but it's like where was the nutritional value in any of that? Where, where there wasn't there wasn't any. Exactly, bitch. So that's why I'm very hungry right now. So 
I'm gonna use like half this bag. Cause if I use the whole bag, I'm gonna eat the whole bag. Okay, bitch, so. We're just gonna use, oh wait, I have to boil the water first. <laughs> I have to boil the water first. Okay. Oh my God, that's the wrong burner. I don't know how to use the stove yet. Like what? Okay, we're boiling the water. That's not enough water. Who is letting me do this? Who is? Now I have to wait for the water to boil. It's like, I kind of want to eat this cheese. I just want to try it. Like, it's so cute. I oh, I told my, I told the fan, oh I told the fans on TikTok that I paid like extra money for this cheese to get it sliced like this because this is how they have it at like the fancy restaurants. And I'm trying to be fancy. I didn't want that grated shit. No, I did not want that grated shit. No, I wanted the, I wanted the product of Italy. And milk cow. Yeah, I wanted this one. I wanted this one. And I can't fucking get it open. <laughs> oh, it kind of smell. Ugh. Ugh. It does not smell good. Okay, let's try. This is so cute. Oh my god. My mouth is so good. Okay. Yummy! Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna wash all the dirt. Why is there so much dirt on mushrooms all the time? Clean it before you put it in the store. Mushrooms, like imagine, what if I just like, like I kinda want to, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna do that. That's so weird, okay. I'm gonna like rinse these off with like a strainer. Hello? Okay. <laughs> And you guys, I'm gonna save the extras. Cause remember how in my last videos, I was like, why did I give you so many mushrooms? Like, da, 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 da. I take it back. I take back all my complaints because I'm gonna save the mushrooms and I'm gonna use them in my omelets this week. My omelets this week are gonna be so bomb. I have mushrooms, I have green onions, I have peppers, I have feta. My omelets are going to pop off and I have a dozen big juicy eggs. So it's gonna be a sleigh, period. Like, this is a lot of mushrooms. It's fine. They, they do cook down. The mushrooms, like, will cook down really small, actually. So I'm just going to rinse these. These are off. Okay. Now I'm going to chop up my mushrooms. But I'm not going to chop them up too small because I still want you to be able to, like, see the mushroom, like, vibe in the pasta. You know what I mean? Like, I still want you to be able to, like, tell that it's a mushroom. So I think I'm going to, like, cut them up like that. Like, just, like, in thirds or, like, even in halves. Because I want that mushroom vibe in the pasta. It's going to be such a slay because I want to take, obviously, we're going to have a photo shoot with it. So I want it to look her best. Like, I want her to look her best. So that's what we're doing. Like, I love a good chunk of mushroom. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, is I've just been obsessed. Okay, I'm going to keep them like this. Like, this is, like, the vibe that they're giving. So once they cook in the pan, though, they're going to get even smaller. So once the pasta is, like done cook or not done but like kind of done cooking i'm gonna put the mushrooms in the pan i just wanted to let you guys know that i'm adding in the pasta the water is boiling hey the pasta's boiling over here she's boiling up so i'm gonna put the mushrooms in the pan oh i've got olive oil in the pan first i'm gonna put olive oil in the pan so sorry about that just kidding. I'm not sorry. Actually, you're welcome. You're so welcome for that. Okay, now I'm going to put the mushroom in the pan. Goodbye. What do you know? I timed it perfectly. My mushrooms are all done sizzling up and my pasta is all done uh, boiling or whatever. So I'm just going to drain the pasta and then I'm going to put the noodles in the pan with the mushrooms. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like literally, my microwave, when it goes off, it sounds like a damn Amber Alert. It's like, it's not that serious. It's not, it's not that serious. I'm gonna put the noodles, back, as, back like I was saying, I'm gonna put the noodles in the pan with mushrooms, put the Parmesan, the olive oil, the butter, the lemon, make it into that nice sauce that would be like a creamy garlic sauce if I could eat cream and garlic. And then I think I'm gonna put it, put it on the plate and then put arugula on top. Oh my God, and some Parmesan on top, of course, and then salt and pepper that bitch. So that's the plan. 
Oh my God. You know what I've seen people do before is add pasta water into their sauce. And there's a little bit of pasta. Maybe that's a little too much. Just at least for my first time trying it. I think I'm going to add a little bit of the pasta water in. That might fuck it up, you guys. It might, no, because it'll dissolve. I can always dissolve it, right? Yeah, it's fine. I'm just going to do it. Not that much. We're adding the pasta. Yes. Okay. 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 Wait, now what am I doing? Uh, oh, like the cheese and the olive oil and the butter. Yes. Okay. So I took some of the thin ones out to put on top for the garnish. And then I'm going to put these big boy, like, look at this big ass chunk. I'm going to put these in there to melt down into the sauce. Okay. So let's do that. Look at this big chunk. I'm going to do that. Okay. Let's do that. Guys, I forgot about the lemon almost, but we got the lemon going. It's actually sizzling up quite nicely with the pasta water. I am a genius. Okay. Let's do it. Guys, like, look at this shit right now. Look at this. I could have honestly added more mushrooms. You guys, I'm so good at this. This literally looks like you got it from, I don't know, what's a restaurant? Carbone? Where's, where do all the influencers go? Carbone? Like, this looks like it's from there. Oh my God, it's so good. Okay, so now that all the cheese and stuff is all melted and the pasta water is all, like, dissolved, I'm going to add just a little bit of arugula. Um, Because I kind of want it to just be, like, very slightly wilted. I don't want it to be, like, completely cooked down. For the aesthetic, obviously, so. Oh my God, I'm so good at this. I'm so good at this. I'm just gonna like fold it in a little bit. So good, and then I'm gonna garnish it with my little stuff, and then I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper, and it's gonna be so good. Okay, let's do it. Let's plate it, as they shall say, as thy shall say. It's gonna be fucking good, I swear to God. On my 75 cent Target plate, cause she's a humble queen. Oh my god, she's perfect. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait till you see this. She's perfect. Look at this beauty. Beauty and a beauty. Okay. I want to like put a little bit. Is that stupid? Mm, is that stupid? I don't know. I'm really like trying to make it like a vibe. You know what I mean? No, it's like kind of cute actually, I think. Ew, not that one. And then some, some parmesan. I'm fuck. I am. I am so incredible. Shut. I am so good at this. It's unbelievable. It's un. Oh, that's an ugly piece of arugula. Shut. Shut up. Shut up. Put some pepper. Like literally. Shut the fuck up. Looks so good. You guys, I'm so fucking genius. It looks and smells like it's from an expensive restaurant. But does it taste like it's from an expensive restaurant? We will find out. But first I need to take pictures of it for my Instagram. So BRB. Okay, now that the photo shoot is over, I'm gonna try it. I th I it might not be good, you guys. I'm honestly not convinced on this one. I'm really not. I'm really not convinced that this is gonna be good, but here we go. Gotta make sure we get a little bit of everything in there, a little mushroom, a little arugula, a little cheese. I honestly don't know. Like the other ones I was pretty confident on. This one is quite out of my comfort zone, especially with that sauce. That was pretty suspicious. Okay. I'm not going to lie. At the beginning, I was like, okay, this does not taste good. I was like, how am I going to tell them this tastes like shit? But then as the flavors got, got going, it tastes really good. It's just, I think it's just like, cause it's like, I've never eaten this before, like from a restaurant. So it's like a flavor palette that my mouth isn't used to. So like, it was kind of like getting used to it. But it is really good. I think if the sauce was like creamy garlic, it would be even better, obviously. But like, I can't do that. But it's really good. It's just like very different though. Like this isn't something I've ever had before, you know? Okay, y'all. That's it for the cooking show today. I wonder if this is going to make my stomach hurt. You guys will find out tomorrow in tomorrow's Sunday morning vlog. But I'm going to go enjoy this on my couch and relax. After an exhausting day being me, so... Guys, I feel like I love YouTube so much. Like, I missed making this YouTube video last week, like, so much. Like, I can just, I can just be more myself on here. Like, I can talk, and I can be myself, and I just love it. So, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And bon appetit! Bye!